Hey guys, welcome back to another skating video. And today, I'm going to be teaching my brother how to ollie. So, um, first things first, you need a skateboard. If you don't have one, you can't do it. So, buy yourself a skateboard. Um, we can get that Walmart. Yeah. Alright, so first step. There are actually about four steps. First step, but if you look up how to ollie on YouTube, they're all teaching you the right steps, but in a wrong way. So I'm going to be teaching you guys the right way. So, um, first thing is feet positioning. Okay, so, doesn't matter how you ride. If you ride with your front foot forward or your right foot forward, it doesn't matter. But I ride left foot forward. So, um... What I would do is I would put my left foot in the middle-ish, more to the front, and then have your back foot on the tail. Um, oh my gosh. When your back foot's on the tail, you don't have it like way down here. You don't have it like way off like this. Have it like perfectly lined up with the tail. There you go. Alright, so first thing is popping it. Well, actually, the first thing is jumping. So when you have your foot positioning down like this, you just need to get used to bending down real far and then jumping. So without the skateboard, just practice doing this. Really high. And you have to bring your knees to your chest so you can get that high jump. The higher the jump, the higher the ollie. All right, so people, when they, when you look it up on YouTube, what they'll say is practice to do this. Don't practice doing that because that's not how you pop. When you ollie, you're not gonna go like this. That's not how you're gonna ollie. What you need to do is practice stepping off and then getting your foot and then sort of doing this motion. Like just pushing and then bringing up. So and make sure it pops off the ground. Like that. And then, do that a few times, and once you got muscle memory to that, do it while standing. And while standing, instead of immediately going to the ollie, jump off of it. Don't, so if it's popping up like this, don't jump this way, jump the opposite way. So, sort of like this. You gotta make it go in the air like that, trust me. That's how you're supposed to pop. Okay guys, so with the popping, it depends on the timing of your pop because if you do it too early, you'll get this. If you do it too late, I don't even know how you get the pop late. That's never happened to me and I've never seen it happen to others. You have to do it like, not down here, not up here, but like when you're like three-fourths the way of like standing straight up, you need to then pop like this. So not don't go down and then pop. Don't go down and then pop halfway up. You have to pop about three quarters of the way of you standing straight up and then just bend your knees all the way to your chest and just do the steps and then you should get a clean ollie. That was bad. Oh, Alright, one more. Alright, next step is once you got the popping down and just like popping it off the ground, next step is just sliding. Now, if I were you guys, I wouldn't use nice shoes. I would use like shoes that don't you don't really care about much. Um, because this will happen. That will happen. Um, so people now when they say to pop, if you look it up on YouTube and watch like professionals say how to how to scrape, they'll say just go scraping like this. 
yes and no. Because when you pop, if you pop it really good, watch it. It's gonna go directly up. So what you need to do is practice scraping more like this. Instead of like this, you go like that. Practice doing that. And then, once you got the popping down and the scraping like this, put them together and you should get this. Uh, not with the landing or anything. I'm gonna step off and only land it with my front foot. So when you put it together, you'll get this. See that? When you scrape it like that and pop it like that, when you put it together, you'll get that. Explain that. Alright, next is when you got the popping down and the um, scraping down, next is lifting the pop leg because usually when people go to Ollie, this leg, watch what it does. They go They don't lift it. They go, and what that does is, if you don't lift it, it's just gonna go like this. But when you lift it, it'll actually give the board room to rise in the air, which is good for an ollie. So what to do for that is, um, I guess just do th redo the jumping thing like this, and just get, get your popping weight. Use to rising in the air when you do it. So remember this, when you pop and scrape, when you scrape, bring this leg up at the exact same time. Don't scrape and then bring it up, don't bring it up and then scrape, do it at the exact same time. Okay, so once you, once you do it and you lift it, after that is the landing part. So I don't know how to separate the two steps without like I don't know how to separate the lifting and the landing so I'm just gonna do it all together and put it pretty much into one step even though they're two different steps so if you pop scrape lift land that's how you all but all in one big motion so when to get it all together you'll get this <laughs> My brother struggles the most with jumping high and popping. So what you, if you're struggling with the popping or jumping or anything, just go back and practice those steps. With the popping, practice this. Popping like that. Now, with the jumping high, just practice doing the jump where you literally just jump high. Now that wasn't high because I wasn't in the mood to jump, but just practice doing that. And then it is a little scary at first because you will be afraid. Trust me, it was like I was like this when I was starting. You'll be afraid if it slips out like that or like that and you'll fall. Trust me, if that happens, it's okay. You can just get up and do it again. Now, once you just practice every step by step by step by step, and then you should be able to just. that every time.